This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating empirical formula from experimental data. We start the experiment by measuring 10 centimeters of magnesium ribbon. Next, the magnesium ribbon is wrapped around a pencil to form a coil. To calculate the empirical formula, we must record the mass of the crucible and the lid, and the mass of the magnesium, the crucible and the lid. As you can see, the mass of the crucible and the lid is 47.19 grams, and the mass of the magnesium, the crucible and the lid is 47.30 grams. Next, the crucible is heated with a Bunsen burner. Here we can see the reaction starts to take place, with the magnesium glowing as it reacts with oxygen. The lid is opened now and again to let in oxygen for the reaction. Care must be taken not to lose too much white powder. Once all the magnesium has reacted, we are left with a white powder, which is magnesium oxide. When the crucible has cooled, the mass of the contents, crucible and lid is recorded. As you can see, the mass has increased as the magnesium has reacted with the oxygen in the air. And here we have the results of the experiment. We have the mass of crucible and lid, the mass of magnesium, crucible and lid, and the mass of the contents, crucible and lid after heating. The next step is to determine the mass of magnesium. To do this, we subtract the mass of the crucible and the lid from the mass of the magnesium, crucible and lid, which gives us 0.11 grams. To calculate the mass of oxygen, we subtract the mass of the magnesium, crucible and lid from the mass of the contents, crucible and lid, which gives us 0.07 grams. The next step is to calculate the amount in moles of magnesium and oxygen. To do this, we divide the mass of magnesium by the molar mass of magnesium, which gives us 4.52 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. For oxygen, we divide the mass of oxygen by the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16.00 grams per mole. And this gives us 4.38 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. The final step is to divide the amount in moles of magnesium and oxygen by the smallest amount. So when we divide by the lowest amount, which is 4.38 times 10 to the negative 3, we get the lowest whole number ratio of atoms in the compound. So from this experimental data, the empirical formula of magnesium oxide is MgO. In this experiment, it is quite common not to get a one-to-one -one ratio of magnesium to oxygen. Possible errors include the magnesium was not pure, the product was not only magnesium oxide, and the product was lost when the lid was removed.